people make garlic bread and it's this like tormented affair with, can I cut the garlic small enough? And can I do this and can I do that? And then it, it's like these chunks of garlic and it's never quite toasty enough, it's very strange. They don't know about bruschetta. And so we're gonna demo the best bruschetta there is. Well, really the best garlic bread there is. The key is not in swallowing little chunks of garlic along with what should be mild tasting bread. And in this, I want you to know that I am using uh, infused butter, okay? So the, it's a can of butter infused that I'm using to grill this bread. So this is a double dose. There's can of butter in the searing, and then there's actual can of butter, can of oil in the arugula pesto. So you've got a double dose, what looks like a light thing that really isn't gonna do much, has turned one of my closest cohorts into <laughs> A maniac <laughs> won't stop eating it. And so basically what we've got here is our fabulous toasted bread. And this is the secret. You take a piece of garlic and I, you, know, you don't even actually have to cut off the tip. The issue is that once the perimeter of the bread is nice and toasty, you take the garlic itself and rub it. So I'm gonna show you that in two seconds so that this can have a chance to toast. Yeah, looks like it's pretty much there. You take the garlic, rub it around the perimeter. And, you know, rubbing garlic on bread doesn't seem that promising, does it? But uh, it packs a real flavor punch. Bruschetta. And so bruschetta can have any, you know, as a tortured salad girl, I made the bruschettas and topped them. And basically it would involve me grilling bread and putting anything on top of them. I mean, with this type of a, a base, you can add sauteed spinach, uh, wilted arugula, you can do frisee. There's so many beautiful things. I've even done a white bean paste. It was very Italian on the bruschetta. So you can do whatever you want. But the, what ends up happening is that you get this fabulous garlic punch from the fresh garlic. And you don't worry about chopping or anything like that. In order to finish that beautiful piece off, just trying to get up all the oil on the griddle. We just take our little teaspoon and give it a smear. You just <laughs> smear the fabulous garlic pesto, the arugula can of pesto onto your bread and it becomes something gorgeous. And that is the arugula pesto with the briscoe. You're commiserating togetherness, right? right? But the community. thing is, when you're poor, you might not even know you're poor because you've been in this environment for so long. I didn't know that government cheese wasn't in my white college totally. when I was a mm -hmm. kid. Right. I thought that cheese was lit. Everybody. I thought this was how we did our mac and cheese. That cheese I thought that this was the perfect way to have it with my crackers and my sandwich.